Hi, welcome back to Golf Kid Drone. So, part two of the HS 700 from Holy Stone. This is going to be my conclusion and flight. What do I think of it? Absolutely love it. Flew superbly well. The day I flew it, you're going to see on the video, it was minus one degrees. There was still a bit of snow on the ground. It was cold. I had no issues with anything. The battery, the battery life, probably 20, 21 minutes. The drone just flew superbly well. Everything flew exactly as I expected it to do because this is a variant of the Bugs 3 Pro but this flies better than a Bugs 3 Pro. Absolutely no doubt about it whatsoever. I've had flown the Bugs 3 Pro the other day. This thing flies so much better than it. Might be because it's heavier or because of this. Whatever they've done to it, it flies better. It's smoother in the air. And it flies better. The camera quality is also better. Now the only difference I can see is on, on the bugs this has a triangular plate on here. Maybe to cut weight down and they made it triangular with only three bobbins. This thing is better. The camera quality is definitely better in my opinion. Well, it, it's not just my opinion. I've watched the videos back from both and this one's got a better camera. Everything worked as it should. The follow me word worked, worked, worked well. The orbit mode, and I didn't stand in the orbit mode, I just made it orbit because it's not something I'd. Follow me mode and orbit mode is not something I use. I buy a camera drone you know, to take pictures with and get video footage, but it did everything it said on the tin. It really was a nice thing to fly. I can't recommend this highly enough. Now I know you're going to say the price is very expensive for what it is, but you get the backup. You can probably see this on a flash deal at some point. On Amazon you're gonna get it a bit cheaper but the drone flies like a dream if it was if this was a bit less I'd be saying go buy one today but obviously it is more expensive because you buy it on Amazon because you've got all the features from Amazon but yeah a nice drone it is so characteristics of flight I had no issues whatsoever it flew really well there was no drift there was no real drop in altitude when I turned uh, and more importantly for me, it didn't do the horrible GPS come out of the turn. Because some of these do, you'll get some of the cheaper GPS drones. And when I turn, you'll get some kind of wobble as it comes back. Now the Pro definitely does that. My 5W didn't, or not as bad, this didn't do it at all. So, flying characteristics are great. If this thing had a 3-axis gimbal on it, it could be amazing. But it hasn't, it's got a fixed, fixed camera. And I suppose if it tilted it would be a bit... The tilting thing's not that bad for me because I, I roughly know when I'm setting off where I'm flying. If I've flown there before I know where I want to put my camera to get the better shots. Height wise so it's not really an issue for me. So all in all the app works great so I've got a video coming up you're going to see it flying, you're going to see some flight footage and you're going to see the app footage. I'll split them all up so you can see them better but yeah great. The app did freeze on me, I think, once in the flights that I had with it, but it just came straight back. Distance, I haven't really been at a stupidly high distance with it. I think on the other flight I've done, I've had it a couple of hundred metres without any problems at all. And when I mean any problems, I mean on the app. You're not going to get a problem with the control range on this thing. It's fine. Like I said earlier, the controller feels really, really nice in your hand. For, if you were looking for a beginner GPS drone with a decent enough camera, then you can go on the, wrong with this because this thing is so easy to fly. Everything works exactly as it should do. So, gone on long enough. I'll leave you with the video footage. Enjoy, enjoy it. If you are interested, I'll leave the link down below from Amazon. But like I say, you might be better wait until this, if you can see a price drop. But thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. So as you can see here, this is a takeoff. You can see how stable it is and how smooth it is when it takes off. Really does take off nicely. Most of the sound is really smooth. There's no drift as you can see. Everything's as it should be. The altitude stays exactly where it is, unlike some drones which will drop as soon as you've taken off, but no it doesn't. So yeah, all in all, a very, very smooth flying drone. And like I said in the video, I do think it flies better than the MJX Bug 3 Pro. I'm not sure how or why it does, but it just feels to me a lot more locked in, and a lot more precise in the air. And I have, you have no issue with turning and it dropping altitude. It's just really, really nice. And it's quite quick. It's got a lot of speed to it for a, 
a drone like this, it also feels much faster than the Bug 3. So it feels more like the Bug 5W for speed wise. But yeah, very precise drone, very happy flyer. So this is me initiating return to home, uh, I think I did it about maybe 70-80 metres out, or maybe 30-40 metres high. It instantly does it and as you can see as it's coming down it'll hover for a few seconds to see if you want to take control of the drone again, whether it's hovering there. If you don't initiate anything it'll keep coming down, well, I think it does it one more time does it? So this is a quick overview of the app, as you can see it's in orbit mode at the time when I'm showing you this. Everything seems accurate, the distance and the height seem accurate, the drone's battery seems accurate, the battery from your transmitter, all the things seem to work fine. It's the same as the Bugs 5W and it worked really well on that. So this is a recording from the drone itself. So although it looks bright in the sky, the day was really dull as you can see from the lower shots, you can see it's a dull day. Uh, and the camera handled it quite well. It's not in a, in a sunny day, I think this will look great because the, the shots you're going to get later on, you can see it flying in the sky and see how blue the sky looks against the background. And there's no stabilization of course, but for a for one of these type of drones I think the camera's good, decent to be fair and at certain points when you see it hovering it produces a nice still image. There is a little bit of wind but it's very minor on the day. But yeah, all in all, yeah, I'm quite happy with the camera. It's not earth shattering and it'd be great if it had a gimbal but this is what you get. <laughs> 